We'll begin by placing a tangent. We'll activate Civil AccuDraw. We'll use the Distance Direction ordinate and we'll use the Place Line. We'll hit O on our keyboard to set the origin and we'll data point. Then we'll rotate our compass to the element using RE. Once we rotate our compass, we can move out and we'll see the distance field begins to update. We can now key in our distance divided by 2 and lock that. Notice the distance circle and we data point to locate the origin of our tangent. Now we repeat the process keying in O for origin data point, RE, snap to the element, rotates our compass, data point out, key in the distance, and divided by 2. And data point again. And now we've placed our tangent in between the right away. Next we'll place the curve between the two elements. We'll use the arc between element command. In this case we'll set up our taper back in the head transition. We'll set the geometry to curve and we'll follow the heads up prompt. We'll use the arrow keys, left and right arrow keys, to trans or move between our forward and back transitions. The transition length and radius. And we'll also set our curve length. Being able to move between the fields allows us to get instant feedback on the geometry. We'll use the up and down arrow keys to move between the trim options and we'll select both. Of course all this geometry can be modified within element information and the heads up display.